meet the Garbage Pail Kid. Starring Nat Nerd, Windy Winston, Messy Tessie. Give him a chance, Tangerine, you'll like him. Ali Gator, Valerie Vomit, Lisa Gregg. I'm gonna get fired for this. Foul food. Nice to the topes. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. They may not be pretty, but boy, they make great friends. Starring Anthony Newley and Mackenzie Aston. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. What's up, PME family, and welcome back to the channel. Physical Media Empire at PME Film and I'm Patrick and I hope you guys are all doing well out there in this crazy world as always so today guys we have a really really fun video we're gonna be going back and doing some garbage pail kids so check this out huh? I got a couple of these packs of this new set food fight so that's gonna be a lot of fun and then I have a couple packs of the 35th anniversary for garbage pail kids which is pretty exciting as well. These were, let's see, so this is 2020, so last year. And then to round out the video, we got an awesome collector pack of Chrome and an old school wax pack of the all new fifth series, including that amazing 30 plus year old bubble gum. So what year is this one? This one is 1986, so definitely over 30 years old. Pretty cool. So we're going to get gross today, guys. We're going to check out some Garbage Pail Kids. As I checked out the channel before I made this video, we are now at 190 subscribers for Physical Media Empire. So thank you very much, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm always excited to have new subscribers to the channel. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. I do a lot of Magic the Gathering content, as well as all non-sports trading cards so garbage pail kids wax packs dc marvel uh other tcgs i got some force of will coming up that i keep promising you guys balut luke anyone out there know what balut is any of my filipino friends out there i know it's part of their cuisine uh, i'm not very fond of it myself but you know to each his own starving art you know, I love Garbage Pail Kids. Um, everyone, you know, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s as a kid, they were definitely a must-have uh, for you and your friends on the playground to trade and all that kind of great stuff. But what I did kind of forget um, from... Jesus Christ. What I did kind of forget from the Garbage Pail Kids uh, as a kid is that they would do often uh, the same card and character just with a different name, uh, sometimes like three or four times. Uh, which I don't find that interesting, but I kind of forgot that they did that. So it looks like the back is menus. Taco hell, it's to die for. So let's check out these here. I love the artwork. Flatu Lance. Wax Max. Piper Bag. Ooh, that's disgusting. Ugh, look at that. You know, speaking of subscribing to the channel, if you have not yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're checking out this video. And you can hit the little bell for notifications. And that way you will never... <laughs> bow loot. And that way you will never... See, that's exactly... There we go. There we go. Same characters, different names. Albacore and bow loot. So you hit that little bell, you'll never miss another PME release. And I try to put out as much content for you guys as I can. Love sharing these uh, cards with you guys. Got some more magic on the way as well. Trying to decide what sets to open up because I've opened up a lot of magic to share with you guys. And a lot of what I have I'm kind of keeping now for the sealed collection moving forward. So kind of did some Kaldheim. Uh, oh, I do have some Time Spiral coming. So I have some of those three-pack draft packs from Amazon for... Time Spiral Remastered coming, so I'm going to be sharing those with you guys. Keep a lookout for that. 
and then I'm doing an MTG giveaway later today. I'm doing a random subscriber drawing where all of my subscribers have a chance to win. I have four codes, uh, I believe one for Magic the Gathering Arena and one and three, I should say, for Magic the Gathering Online. So I'm going to be doing a drawing today. So these are the 35th anniversary cards. So I think there'll be some of the old cards reprints perhaps would be my guess. Wouldn't it be wicked cool if there was an atom bomb? Hollywood. Woman's Libby. Oh boy. D evolved, D evolved Dean. Not the easiest to say. Oh geez, Melton. Blastin' Sebastian. Well there's Atom Bomb in the back there. Man, anyone who's got any of those original Atom Bomb cards, you guys must be pretty excited. I don't even know what the value is in these days. As you guys know in the collecting world, so yeah, let's talk trading cards in, in general in the collecting world. It's just going absolutely crazy out there, as I'm sure you guys know in both sports cards, Pokemon, Magic. Uh, just everybody, and I mean literally everybody, is jumping on the collectibles bandwagon and... It's a little difficult uh, for the people who have been in the hobby for a long time to deal with because, you know, a lot of the stuff that we used to be able to buy that we were always buying, sometimes we can no longer get it now, forget about it at retail at like a big box store because all that stuff is just disappearing now by, I guess, what we'll call collectors, flippers, scammers, whatever, whatever you want to call it. The one guy that buys literally every single pack of Pokemon in the entire store. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but it's definitely happening now and the collecting world is is having a boom in sports cards in particular, which has really been quiet for like two decades. Like no one has given a crap in quite some time about sports cards, but if you guys check out what's going on in the world now of new sports cards, so wow, check these out. Oh, you can see me, haha. <laughs> Look out there in the audience. People! Ah! I'll hold it at a different angle. These are chromed out. Absolutely chromed out. Kind of lost track what I was saying on the collection side, but let's just see these. Look at that. You can see my camera. It's pretty crazy. Mirror Imogen. Wow. I didn't realize those are so chromed out. Look at those, huh? And they're much thicker, too, so... I don't really collect Garbage Pail Kids. I mean, I love them. I bought them as a kid. Ooh, checklist. One of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, that's blowing up in the collectibles world, too. And, like, weird enough, like, um, Fortnite trading cards? It's just bananas. I think I was gonna say about the sports cards. Yeah, if you don't believe me what's going on in the sports cards, check out Don Russ Optic NBA Hoops. Um, Tops Baseball, no one really cares about hockey or the NASCAR cards, unfortunately, but it is just getting crazy out there. And, you know, if you go to the other hobby stores or the stores that aren't considered big box or retail when they have their product, uh, they have kind of caught on to it, so they are now raising their prices as well even more. Um, so now it's at a point where you will see things in stores that aren't big box for two, three, four times retail, which to me is a bummer, but that's kind of where we're at in the world of collectibles, so I wanted to share some of that information with you guys if you're out there hunting for the stuff that you love and having a hard time finding it. Uh, a lot of that is the reason why. Well, we went right past that, but check that out. Delicate test. That is vulgar. Man, they wouldn't make that one today, I don't think. But who the hell really knows? And that delicious gum, very much intact. So awesome, guys. I was really glad I was able to share these Garbage Pail Kids cards with you guys. I'll try to get some more of these in the future. Like I said, I got some more magic on the way. Maybe I'll dabble into opening a couple Pokemon packs to share with you guys. Those are very hard to find too. Uh, so lots coming up on the channel. Thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.